Welcome to Pumble, a team collaboration platform. Using Pumble, your teammates can communicate with each other via instant messaging and collaborate more effectively. I'm Dimitri, and let's get started. A workspace is a place where all communication happens. It's a collection of people and projects in Pumble. When you first create your Pumble account, you'll automatically get a workspace. A workspace contains all channels, direct messages, people, and settings. All of it helps you communicate better with your teammates. You can also create or join multiple workspaces. Multiple workspaces are useful when you want a separate account for each subcompany or department. These workspaces you belong to are their own separate entities, each with its own unique set of users. Since each workspace is a separate entity, people who are not part of the workspace cannot see them, nor can you see workspaces other people may belong to. For example, if you have two companies or departments, you can create two workspaces and invite different people to each one. Then you can switch between them as needed. Channels and Pumble are public spaces for teammates to share messages and files and work on projects together. When you create a workspace in Pumble, you'll have two default channels created for you, general and random. To stay transparent with your teammates, the best way to proceed with sharing information is to create a public channel. This way, all interested team members can join the channel and see what you say. When you click on Create Channel, you'll see a modal where you should name your channel and set a description for it. If the information is classified, you can create a private channel right in that modal. For example, you can create a channel for team conversations and updates, things like marketing, sales, and design. Another one is the kickoff of a new project, things like an XYZ campaign, a relaunch of a website, or a New Year campaign. And when you're helping interns, things like interns QA, onboarding, and PPC. Now that you've set up channels, you can invite your team. Click Invite Members and add their email. To invite many people at the same time, separate emails with a comma and then click Add. Then each user will receive an email with an invite link. You can also copy it from here and send it personally. If they need some information from you, they can mention you with an at sign and then you can help them. Now, when you have all your teammates inside Pumble, you can chat with them in channels or you can send them a direct message. To send a message to someone, click their name in the sidebar and then you'll see the conversation history open up between you two. To send them a new message, type what you want to say here and then send like this. When they reply, you'll get a notification like this. These messages are private and only the two of you can see them. You can also send a private message to multiple people, like this, thus creating a group chat. In case you want to edit a message you've already sent, you can hover over your message. Click on the three dots and then press edit message to make the changes. This is perfect for typos. If you wish to delete a message, you can also click on the three dots and then on delete message. The message will be immediately deleted and no one else can read it. Video calls can be launched from any channel or direct conversation in Pumble. You can start a video call or join one. If you're the one who's starting a call, click on the camera icon and your teammate will be pinged. Before you join the meeting, you can choose whether you want to turn off or on your camera and microphone. Also, you can blur your background and settings. Once you enter the meeting, you can start it. After the colleague you called accepts the call, you'll see both of your faces on the screen. If you want your teammate to see something on your computer screen, then you can share your screen. Click on the icon for screen sharing right here, and your teammate will be able to see it, your screen. You'll also have a pop-up notification that says you're sharing your screen. Now, if you want to stop screen sharing, just click on stop sharing. With Pumble, you can create meeting links to start calls and connect with anyone in your workspace. You need to click on the camera at the top left corner of your workspace, and the meeting link will be automatically created and copied for you. Share the link with team members and join the call by opening the link and clicking Start Meeting. If you need another link, you can click on Create New Link and the new link will be created. Share it with your team and you can start the meeting. By default, in Pumble, you have unlimited free access to your message history. This means you can search through all of your conversations at any time. So how does this work? For a start, type a term in the search box. You will see the term in different channels and direct messages with your teammates. To narrow search results, you can use filters. You can filter by channels and direct messages or by people who sent the search term. Search is useful no matter if you're looking for a specific piece of information or need context regarding some discussion. Whatever it is, you'll find it quicker using search. Also, you can search for channels using the channel browser. 
When you enter the channel browser, you'll see all public channels in the workspace. You can see the discussions inside them and decide whether you want to join or not. In addition to this, if you use filters, you can see the archive channels and the hidden channels for a more clear search. Let's say you need to quickly find a file for an unexpected meeting. Files are searchable and also shareable across Pumble, making it easier for everyone to find the information that they need, when they need it. You just need to jump to the sidebar, click on File Browser, and start searching for the file you need. You can search for a file by typing the name of the file or a keyword that you want. After that, you'll see a list of files that fit your query. All files will appear with a preview, so you can easily see what you need and download the searched file. While working with your team on Pumble, you may also need to collaborate with files that you've created in other applications. Just drag and drop any kind of file to the channel and send it to the team. You can share screenshots, videos, images, PDFs, documents, and other types of files. Anyone in a conversation where a file was added can open the file, download it to view offline, or share it with other team members in direct messages. When you click on these three dots, you will have five options. To view more details, copy a link to the file, open the file in the browser, delete it, or add it to save files. All save files can be found here and no one except you can see them. When the file is uploaded to a channel or direct message, it will be stored in Pumble. All files uploaded to a channel or direct message count toward the file storage limit. You can browse files added to any public channels, plus the private channels and DMs you are part of in the file browser. And to find specific files easier, you can use the filters. Let's see how you can use your notification settings in the best way possible. You'll get a notification when someone mentions your name or when you have a new message in the channel. When there's a new message, the channel's name becomes bold. A red badge will appear next to the channel's name when someone mentions you. The mention is highlighted, so it's easier for you to spot. Another quick way to see if there's any new update is via this icon. If there's no new message, the icon will be dimmed. If there's a new message on any channel you're following, the icon will be white. And if you've received a direct message or have been mentioned, the icon will have a red badge. When someone sends a message to the channel or directly to you, you will hear a sound for a new message. If you receive too many notifications, you can mute a channel so you don't receive as many for unread messages of this channel, unless you're specifically mentioned. You can mute a channel by clicking on Details, Here, and then on More and Mute Channel. This is one way to control your notifications. You can also control what you get notified about via Preferences. You can choose to be notified about all new messages, only direct messages and mentions, or not notified at all. There are a few other ways to customize your notifications. The first is setting a schedule to only get notified during working hours. You can adjust it here by picking the time when you want to receive your notifications. The second is setting a schedule for focus time at work. When you need some more focus time, you can pause your notifications for as long as you need, from 30 minutes to two hours. You'll only receive notifications during the hours you choose. Outside of those times, notifications will be paused. If you're away from your computer and have Pumble installed on your phone, you'll receive the notifications there too. You have two options to choose from when you want to receive notifications on your phone. The first one is to see all notifications on your phone if you're not active on your computer. And the second one is to receive all notifications no matter whether you're active or not. Thank you for watching. And as always, check the video description for more helpful links and videos. Bye now.